Double your pleasure, double your fun. Hi, I'm Digital Russ, and this is my digital clone. Now, in a few minutes, I'm going to send him up on the roof at my mom's house, and we're going to install two antennas, one pointing north for the Norfolk stations, and one pointing south for Washington Greenville Newburn Market. Now, these are the main channels that she watches. So, we're going to combine two antennas so she doesn't have to change the rotor at all. Now we installed this uh, antenna pointing towards Washington Greenville Newburn, the one pointing to the right. Uh, we installed that several months ago, but it just didn't quite do good enough for uh, channel 12, WCTI in Newburn. She was right on the digital cliff. Sometimes it worked great, and then sometimes it didn't. So we're gonna put a little bit bigger antenna up there. So the first thing Clone's gonna do is take the antenna down, put a bigger antenna pointing towards Washington, Greenville, and Newburn because that's her primary station. And then we're going to take the antenna that's already up there and point it north. Now we're combining these two antennas with a ordinary splitter. We can get away with just a cheap splitter because one's pointing 180 degrees from the other. There's no way that this antenna is going to fight with this antenna. They're just going to pick up in two different directions and everything's going to be wonderful. Now, if you want to do this in Wake County, you're going to want to be a little bit more careful. A splitter may or may not work because you're in such a strong RF field, electromagnetic field from the towers that if you add a second antenna pointing towards like Chapel Hill, you're gonna introduce some reflections and multipath and we know from experience that's not a good thing. So you gotta be careful. A joint antenna is a device that you can buy to specifically match that channel for say w, uh, UNC Public TV you can perfectly match it and mix it in with your antenna pointing towards Garner and probably be okay. Now if you use a splitter, there's a good possibility that this antenna is going to pick up part of the signal that's going to cancel out from the other antenna and you're going to have a mess. And that's what a lot of people have done. The trick is to make sure that the two antennas are highly directional, getting signals from the direction they're pointing at. 